case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1970, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals heard a significant case, Hines v. State, which centered on the necessity for strong, indisputable evidence in order to convict someone of a crime. The case involved a defendant accused of attempted burglary who faced life imprisonment due to previous convictions. Despite this serious accusation, the evidence presented during the trial was found to be insufficient to support the charge. The court, while examining the case, found no physical evidence confirming an attempt to break and enter the victim's house. Furthermore, the one-man lineup identification was not considered in the proceedings. In reviewing similar past cases, the judge determined that the lack of intent to break in and the absence of physical injury to the building were crucial factors in proving guilt. As a result, the court ultimately reversed the judgment and the case was remanded. This decision by the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals highlighted the importance of solid, conclusive evidence and the necessity for proof of intent when convicting someone of a crime. The court's ruling in Hines v. State effectively reversed the conviction for attempted burglary and remanded the case, setting a precedent for the critical role of evidence in criminal trials. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.